Hey everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be play testing the brand new Head Boom range. In particular, the Head Boom Pro and the Head Boom MP. I'm gonna show you what the rackets look like, talk through the specs, play test them, and tell you what my first impressions are. Let's go. Welcome back. My name is Ashley Neves and I run the Tennis Mentor YouTube and Instagram accounts, providing tennis content for players, coaches and parents to get more out of the sport. If you follow me over on Instagram, you'll have seen that Head kindly sent me one of the prototype models of the new Head Boom MP before it came out. So I've actually been using that racket within my coaching sessions for the past few months. Only recently, Head have actually released the Boom range, so I've managed to get my hands on a Head Boom Pro, so I'm able to give you my first impressions of the rackets. If you're already a subscriber of my channel you've probably seen my head speed pro review i actually reviewed this racket a couple of weeks ago if you haven't seen that video i'll pop the link just above here i've been playing with the head speed pro range for around eight years now and i'm in the process of making my decision as to which rackets i should use for this year although this video won't be a direct comparison of the two rackets i will bring the head speed pro up now and again because that is the racket that i've been playing with for the last few years and i am actually planning on making a video that compares the two rackets using our digital smart court behind me now before i talk about the specs of the racket let's take a look at what it looks like it's got this mint green color in a matte finish which links into black at the top of the racket. I always love matte finish rackets. Um, as you can see here, a little bit like the Head Speed Pro, it's got a slightly different font to previous head rackets. And like on all head rackets, it's got the control power index number here, which for the MP is 600. And if we take a look at the Pro, it's 400. To be honest, when I received the initial prototype head boom, it was a blackout racket, which as you know, I love. But I was actually pleasantly surprised when I saw this colorway. It's quite a striking color, it stands out, and they've actually got bags to match as well. What you'll notice when you actually look at the shape of the racket, you can probably see it here, that the head shape is slightly different to all of the other head rackets in the range, and most other tennis rackets. It's actually slightly more isometric, meaning that it's a bit more squared at the top end. What this does is it actually widens the top part of the racket, meaning that the sweet spot is slightly larger. And in my opinion, I think it's probably giving you a little bit more spin potential as well with the fact that it's slightly wider at the top of the head. When you look at the neck of the racket too, you'll see that the beam is slightly thinner at the grip end of the racket and it thickens out as it moves up towards the head. And what this does is it changes the flex point in the racket to give you a slightly different feel. As far as specs go, the MP is 295 grams and the Pro is 310 grams. Both rackets have a 16 by 19 string pattern with the Pro version having a slightly smaller 98 square inch head versus the MP's 100 square inch head. Both rackets are marginally headlights with the MP being one inch headlights and the Pro being 1.3 inches headlights. And as far as beam widths go, the Boom Pro has a 22 millimeter beam, whereas the MP is slightly thicker with 24 millimeters. I'm not sure if you can see that there. So like all of the pro rackets in the head range, the pro is more suited to competitive players, advanced players, whereas the MP version is slightly more forgiving and could be suitable for intermediates and advanced players too. Just like the brand new head speeds and the new head prestige, the boom rackets come with this new Oxetic technology, which I spoke about in the head speed review. What this material does is it adapts to your shots. So if you're going for a really big shot, the material stiffens up, giving you a little bit more control. Whereas if you're going for a softer touch, like a slice or a drop shot, the material will be slightly more flexible, allowing you to have a slightly better feel. It kind of sounds a little bit gimmicky, but the way I've looked into it is if you imagine the fibers of the material like this, as the ball impacts the racket fast, the racket stiffens like so. But with softer shots, it has slightly more movement in between. Anyway, that's my own analogy, but all I really know is it feels good. As I mentioned, I've used these rackets a fair bit over the past few weeks. I've used them in coaching sessions, in hitting sessions, and what you can see here with the footage is me using it with my slinger bag. For my own game, I really enjoyed the MP for coaching. With it being slightly lighter and having a slightly bigger head, it was more forgiving for those long days on court when I'm coaching and feeding lots of balls. Whereas if I'm competing, I would definitely go for the pro. When I'm going a bit bigger with my shots, I need that extra swing weight and that small 
ball ahead allows me to have a bit more control over the ball. I really enjoyed playing with both rackets and by design the sweet spot was pretty big. Striking the ball felt really really nice and I did notice that they gave me a little bit more power than I had with my head speed. So it did take me a bit of time to get used to as I was hitting a fair few of my shots long. For me to get the same control that I have with the head speed range I had to take a bit of pace off the ball or I had to add a bit more spin. And where these rackets both have 16 by 19 string patterns they do have good spin potential. They're really good all round rackets. They were super comfortable when hitting forehands or backhands although like I said right at the start I was hitting some long. As for volleys they were great. They had a really plush feel at contact and as I don't swing too much of my volleys I was able to get a lot more control. When it came to hitting serves I definitely feel as though I hit them bigger than I do normally with my head speed pro. However I haven't measured speed and that is something that I'm going to do when I make the video comparing the two rackets. All in all it's definitely a racket that I could get on with and use longer term. I just need to make my mind up between this and the head speed as to whether I want a little bit more power that you get with the head booms or if I want a bit more control as I get with my head speeds. Let me know in the comments below if you've played with the boom or the head speed and if you've played with both let me know which one you prefer. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up let me know what you thought in the comments below and if you're not subscribed to the channel already I'd love it if you did so. If you've got any questions about the head booms or the head speed let me know again in the comments below and I'll get back to you. I look forward to seeing you in next week's video. Take care.